Well, as you may recall, Michael Whedon was involved in a fatal crash five months ago, but no criminal charges resulted from that. But tonight, in entirely unrelated circumstances, he faces two felony allegations dating back to early 2012, while he was still serving as New Hampshire State Representative and Dover City Councilor. The fatal crash happened in December near Whedon's home on 6th Street in Dover. Then, 22 years old, he told police he'd been putting on his seat belt when his car crossed the center line and struck another, an 87-year-old Summersworth man later dying of his injuries. The investigation resulted in no criminal charges, but the former state and city official now faces altogether separate troubles. The allegations indicate that Mr. Whedon, um, during uh, a single incident, pointed a firearm at uh, a young woman, um, indicated to her that he would kill her. Court paperwork alleges he pointed it at the victim's head, saying he'd shoot them both. My understanding from the allegations is that it was a long-armed weapon, um, which I believe the Dover police have seized as part of the investigation. Whedon faces another charge as well. Mr. Whedon is charged with a separate act of aggravated felonious sexual assault. In other words, it's not connected to the criminal threatening that um, was in the other indictment. Um, it does allege the same victim, however. The crimes allegedly occurred over two years ago in February and March of 2012, while Whedon was still serving as both State House Rep and Dover City Councilor. Whedon lost re-election to the New Hampshire House in late 2012 and to City Council last November. It's not clear when the alleged incidents were reported. Whedon's attorney says his client denies the allegations and will plead not guilty at his arraignment on May 29th. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.